Hey guys, Susanna here. Um, I'm just going to be doing Artsology Design Gym Team Project and I'm going to be using Grandma's Sewing Basket. So, and here's Artsology. I'm going to link it below anyway. So, um, I thought I've had this book, which I have gotten from the beautiful Jeannie Morton. And oh, while well, I'm here, I'll show you. She's got she's only new youtuber she's been on the facebook um community pages for quite a while and she makes beautiful beautiful journals um out of old books and all that kind of stuff and i saw her had a book with this and it literally has got my name on it and um when i got it i thought she actually sent this book to me and here is a this was my very first journal swap and this is the type of stuff that Jeannie makes even though this is an artsology design team i want to promote Jeannie's um channel as well um let me sewing susan perfect it was a sewing theme and she just does the most beautiful beautiful note from her journals i have got um a flip through um down the track but i've added bits and pieces in here absolutely gorgeous she uses old real vintagey um, she makes her own button um, things and just gorgeous. So um, I was lucky enough to do a swap with her, but she does now. She's finally gotten herself a channel, which is awesome. And I said that when she gets a channel, I'm going to promote her her um, channel because she's extremely talented and a very, very lovely lady. She's very sweet. Look at that. Look at that. Oh so gorgeous so she does this sort of stuff but she just a bit like ephemera's vintage garden um yeah look at this genuine um you know piece of fabric from an old quilt so um she, i was lucky enough to um do a swap with her and get this um before she had her channel i thought i can see potential in this lady i think she will, her channel will grow because she's just very talented and has a, a very unique lovely style i really love it. it's very vintagey so i'll link her below as well um so i got this saw this book and she was lovely lovely enough to um she had a, a spare so i said oh, i'll buy that off you so she sent that up and um so I've got this ready and I want to make this into, rather than a journal, I want to make a sewing, like, almost like one of those folder things, like a sewing holder and uh, somewhere that when I go away to craft things that it's it holds my, um, uh, like, scissors and pin cushion and all that kind of stuff. So, um I'll show you the bits and pieces I'm using from the kit. I've already started pre-putting stuff together. This is, I mean, I made a, a whole journal using Grandma's Sewing Basket. It's such a beautiful kit. So here's, I've just put them on the back of um, um, Kaza cardstock. Here's corner tuck spots that she has. Here's some of the inside pages of the book too, which I'm going to be utilising. Just beautiful. It's, um, here's an envelope. I've just sort of pre-put them on and I've kept that and that can go in the envelope. Um, and then I'm going to make a little um, pin, pin, you know, holder thing in this is part of the kit as well, and I kept that aside especially because I'd like to make a tiny little, two little pin holder albums. And then something similar from that, I'll, I'll cut that on there and I want to try fold it. So these are the bits and pieces I'm going to be using. I've also, she's got medallions as well, and I've made them into little, um, what are they called? You know, you can tuck it over, they're really cute. So grandma's sewing basket's really pretty. Okay, so what I would want to do, I thought I'd just pre-do this and get that ready. As much as I really love um, that, I just, I'm going to have to cover it, I think. So, 
Um, I've got this beautiful fabric which I bought on my birthday. Birthday money, I went, someone gave me some Gales patchwork uh, fabric. I don't know if it goes too well with that either. I want to make it really quite pretty so it just goes with everything. I don't know. May end up using that. I don't know. Or I'm thinking this is probably a better match. Oh, there it goes. See, the colours go really well. And because it's sort of applique and everything, I'm thinking I may end up putting that on there. Put that doily from somewhere. So that may work too. So, but what I want to do, um, hang temp. I'll just pause something went overboard. Back again. Um, so I got the idea to do something like this from, um, I got this note card and it almost fitted perfectly. And I was going to use this. This is, um, I found this in Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady and it fitted perfectly as in this way. Um, and then I, you know, made something that I thought maybe buttons or whatever can go in there to hold it down but then I thought um, where are we? Like this that way it holds it down but then it by the time you take these out it's sideways and I thought I really wanted something that way so that I can put stuff in so I'm gonna have to make there it goes oh well <laughs> it's good um, something that will fit in so now you can go up to there so i'm just going to have to measure the width of it you're going to have to bear with me i think it's five and three five and a half five and three quarters what did i say you want so five inches or this is you just would if you get yourself a book you have to measure it to suit your own um, needs. Look, I finally got something like this. My beautiful friend sent me a scoreboard um, in our swap. So, I'll keep this up in my sewing journal. Um, so, what I want to do is I've got, I originally used these, they almost fit perfectly. They're from um, an invitation pad that I had for my birthday. And I think it's almost a perfect fit. So, let's cut that off there. What I needed to do, see, it's almost a perfect fit. Almost. I am thinking it's probably going to be okay. Um, by the time you stick a couple in there, oop, come up again. And then fold it to see if it'll. Got that spa space in between, so it should be all right. I'm thinking it's pretty good. So, um, hmm, now what I need to do, I'm thinking, see, that's already being scored, so I'm going to, I just want a quarter of an inch either way, like that's too high, if you know what I mean. So, Just put that on. That's where a score is. So a quarter of an inch would be. That's the scored part. Just find a quarter of an inch. Actually, I think maybe half an inch is better. So score it. 
half an inch from that line. And I'm thinking, I'll do the same with that one. I'm just checking. So there's that line there, half an inch. Let's see whether that's okay. It's all about checking and double checking. I think that's a good height because you've got to remember it'll be one inch. Yeah, I think that's enough. One inch wide. Okay, now so about a quarter of an inch, not quarter of an inch, half an inch. I mean, I'm just lucky because I've got something that fits perfectly. But if you don't, you just get a thing and you measure it, whatever that width is. Say so that width is, it's five, uh, five inches by like nearly up to the six. So five and three quarters or I don't know how to do the eight whatever so you measure that distance and then you score the edges and then you score a quarter of an inch from there if you know what I mean like that now so I'll cut this off here so half an inch that way and then along there I don't want it to be too high so I'm thinking how high do I want it maybe four and a half inches so we'll go four and a half inches from where it's going to go anyway, personal preference of however long you want it okay Is what I mean so that's going to be there like that okay now in order to stabilize it you just get these little off cuts and I'm going to put them in there what I probably need what I probably need Yeah, it's, it's all about the figuring out. Probably should have done this beforehand. <laughs> um, figuring out of what I want. So I want two of these because I want to be able to put scissors and by the time I fold, like cut this up and fold that into three, that'll be a bit that I can put in there as well. Um, and I'm thinking an envelope, which I have got. Yeah. I've got this beautiful, beautiful envelope which was given to me by um, uh, Rosa and she's actually on um, Facebook not Facebook um, she's got her own YouTube channel as well and this was part of I might have to put it right there So I was thinking it would be really nice to have something like that and I can put in bits and pieces and if I might even be able to have it like that. It's so hard to try and figure out how you want to do this. So what I might do is turn it off and nut it all out of how exactly I want it and then I'll come back. Don't want to bore you with it. Okay, I'm back. I figured it out. Woohoo! So what I did was, okay, you measure the width that you want. So I want five and a half. That's the width of how high it's going to be. So what I did, let's 
shit. Around me. Um, so that inner, inner scoring is like five and a half because that's how wide I want it. And then I wanted it by five high. So it'll be that height there. And then the width that I want it to be like as is a quarter of an inch. Like that's the white, the width that I want it. So I've scored that. I've scored it half an inch. So that gives me that height. But then I've also added another quarter of an inch because I thought you need a little flap on there. So I've scored it quarter of an inch along here and then another half an inch so three quarters and then um and then i you know flipped it around did a half an inch and then a quarter of an inch so then what i'm going to do is cut that there And then the height I wanted was five, so I did the same half an inch, quarter of an inch, okay. Now, this will make sense, people. This will. now, what I've done here, so I've scored. Fold it down on the, the quarter of an inch inwards. I might make this scoreboard a little bit. Of... Okay. Fold that in. Oh, so nice to have a bone folder. Thank you so much, Erica. Now, okay. Now. This lot here needs to be folded in. Yep, in that way. Okay, so fold that goes fold, so it's folded up, and then that quarter of an inch needs to be folded inwards. It's a fairly thick bit of cardboard, but I need it to be that thick. Now, cut that little corner out. So that's the height as well, going up. There we go. And then cut that way. So you cut the whole corner. There we go. So you cut that little corner off there and then you cut the whole corner over on the inside. hope this is making sense, guys. So, and then here as well, just that tiny little bit. Okay. So what you're left with, that's going to go down there like that. So that'll tuck in there like that. So I might get some, I'll find double sided tape. Seems to work the best. Um, so I'll double side tape that. So I probably should just.
side. I could probably just use the thick. No, it needs too thin. seems to hold the double sided tape. Okay. The only thing getting this stuff off. Drive you nuts. So that will go in like that and connect to there. In like that and connect on the inside. Okay now then that will be folded over. That's why that's cut. So this gives you something, the quarter of an inch that I've got on there gives you something to, you know, that gives it something to hold on to so that you put the glue on here. So I um, may end up, it seems a little taller, so that's the construction of how you um, put it all together. There we go. get that over there like this that's there like that that will hold the book up if you know what I mean and then you've got bits and pieces that can go in there so before I actually glue that down which probably but I wanted to show you what you needed to do um, I should probably cover it with some fabric or whatever it is I want to cover it with. Which is that width. So, I hope you got that. Got, hope that makes sense to you guys. So, what I'm wanting to do, if not, you just pause it. And re, re look or ask me questions below and I'll try and help you <laughs> as much as I can. It'll make sense as, as I go along. So what I want to do, um, double check whether, yeah, I think I, I do want to have it that high. So um, let's get some beautiful fabric because that's, I think I'm going to use that. I really do like that. I think that will make a beautiful, beautiful cover. So what I'm going to do is just cut that along there. It seems like a sin to cut this stuff. Tape. it's a um, a sewing theme thing I thought it would be nice to have something pretty like that on there and then I might even put some I'll keep that and tuck that over so I'm going to need some of this glue so I'll be back to grab all the bits and pieces that I need for the glue Ooh, 24 get back again what I use for um, putting glue fabric onto um, paper is I use PVA glue which is like a mod, mod podge because if you use the craft glue I find it um, it just sticks it, it leaves bubbles and yeah this I think is a bit better so what I want to do is just give it a really good coat And do 
just up to that edge because remember this bit's going to be sticking to the book so this is going to be a few parts so and this is a personal project which is quite nice i've been wanting um to do something with this for a little while so there you go Jeannie I'm finally doing something with this book that you sent me and I was just waiting for the right time to do it because I'm always going to craft groups and all that kind of stuff and you gotta pack half the, your house and I thought I'm really wanted to make myself like a little folio carrier which is really quite nice now okay better be up a little higher so you guys can actually see it yep that's cool middle isn't that beautiful so pretty. I mean, look at that. Like this doily is just so gorgeous. Got the applique on there. Just got to be really careful not to get too much dirt because it is white. Okay, now what I might do. I might have to get these. This is the hard part, trying to cut it. it's good to glue the, the bit that you only want it down so that the fabric doesn't stick and it is easier to do this but when it's at this stage even though it doesn't seem like it <laughs> having my bathroom um, worked on today finally the ensuite's done and now the bathroom will be done so put that down again let's get this glue this stuff is it glues dries clear which might not be a bad idea I'm gonna glue it down here so that it'll stay down so 
So, wait for that to glue to dry, the, the glue to dry. How pretty is that? And then that will go in there like that. So I've got to find some really pretty paper and I'm thinking, um, well, we need something that's going to match this which is going to be there like that and I've got this and I think that matches perfectly that's Paige Evans so I'll have that there and I might even put some of that there so for this um, tutorial oh, there's something being being Something, so I'll see 31. Okay, what I'm going to do is I've got some lace here and I'll pick something that's going to sit out over the top, which I think is really pretty. Which may be that one. And that I will put on with some craft glue. So the next step will be once this is dry. So, one minute. Where's that going? I have to get the right width. Is that exactly straight? There we go. So I'll turn it off after this. Find the right size. It's so pretty. It's really dainty. Let that dry, and then I'll do a part two. And I might even do some stuff in between. What I'm going to do off camera is I'll um, put this paper on the top and in the middle, and then. Um, we can work on doing some other stuff. So I hope you have got a bit of an idea of what I'm trying to do. But I have to wait until this is dry. So that'll go there like that. Go down. And be my pocket. Like that. Isn't that cute? Ooh, see, white. Does not look white. This jolly camera. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much. And I will catch you um in the next episode of this i'm really happy how this is going to turn out and we'll probably do some embellishments and i've got to make i want to make out of that um uh, that little album thing i want to make something like that so that i can put in um my pins and all that kind of stuff like a little needle case that's what it's called a needle case okay guys i'll catch you in the next episode thanks for watching Bye.